Hi, I'm Kelsey from roughandtumblefarmhouse.com and today we are going to look back at my first year of cloth diapering and I'll share with you the little tidbits I have picked up along the way. So first off with cloth diapering, let's talk about where you get your diapers from. Now, I read online when I was researching cloth diapers when I first got started, it's a good idea to look on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist to try and find diapers. I live in a pretty rural area, so I didn't think I'd really have much luck with that. Um, but since that time, I have noticed just on Facebook Marketplace, there's been probably a dozen moms selling their cloth diaper stashes for really good prices. So if the diapers look like they're in pretty good condition, that's a really great way to get into cloth diapering for a pretty low cost. Another thing too is to make sure you tell everybody you're going to be cloth diapering. Reason being is that increases your chances of finding someone who knows someone who's getting rid of their cloth diapers or is finishing up with cloth diapering for their kids. That's how I ended up getting over half my diapers. I got a bunch of flips, um, some bubby bibbies, I think is how it's pronounced, and some other cloth diapers from a friend of my sister's from high school who was just getting done with cloth diapering with her kids and wanted them to go to a good home. And so I got easily well over $100 worth of cloth diapering things, probably more like $200 for totally free. So put the word out, it can only help you get more diapers. Okay, so one of the first things I wanna talk about with cloth diapering is cleaning cloth diapers. Now, when we first started out, and when you first start out with cloth diapering, if your baby is just breastfed only, then you don't really even have to clean the diapers, you can just throw them in the wash, and since the poop that comes from breast milk is water soluble, it just disappears. So you don't really need to worry about having to clean them too much. But once you're starting to get into solids and you've got some pretty goopy, poopy diapers to deal with, I ended up getting a sprayer hose for the toilet and getting a spray pal. I definitely recommend this. If you're comfortable just like dunking and swishing in the toilet, God bless and Godspeed. <laughs> that for me, I really didn't like that option very much. So um, I did get the uh, a sprayer hose and the spray pal. And the sprayer hose, our house is set up kind of goofy and there's a tiny little bathroom in our nursery, which is nice. And so I tried hooking up the sprayer hose in there and it leaked and leaked and leaked like right where it attached the toilet and it drove me insane i could not get it to hook up and so that's why i didn't use it for a really long time finally i decided to try hooking it up on just our main bathroom and it didn't even leak once so it's something kind of funky with little plastic piece that comes out whatever um so try a different toilet if you do get a sprayer hose and it doesn't work right away it might not be the hose it might be where you're trying to fasten it to might just be cut a little uneven and will allow for leaking so if you get a sprayer hose leaks try a second toilet we just picked up our sprayer hose on Amazon. They are available now. They weren't for a long time when everyone was hoarding toilet paper. And that's another benefit of having a sprayer hose. If another pandemic or something happens and you can't get toilet paper, you already have a bidet, basically. So um, double use, which is always nice. The Spray Pal, at first I wasn't sure I wanted to get that. And I'm really, really glad that I did because if you're going to spray off your diapers, unless you rig up some other sort of system, I can't see how you can really spray off diapers well without getting poop and water everywhere. Even with the spray pal, you still get a little bit of a mess sometimes. So um, I think they're actually a little lower in cost than when I bought one. I think they're around 25 bucks, which is 100% worth it. So I really recommend getting um, the spray pal. I think that's a bummer about it is, it's no matter how much you wash it off, it's still just kind of a little gross. So it's not something that, you know, it has the option to unsnap it, fold it up and put it away. But when you're using it every night to clean off your diapers, it's easier just to kind of set it next to your toilet like we do. Okay, let's talk about washing your diapers. So when I first made a video about cloth diapering, I'm gonna have to go back and put a note in there because, so I've been cloth diapering for uh, several months and thought I had a pretty good grip on it. And so we had just kind of started solids and it was winter, and so even if we had poopy diapers, I just folded them up, put them in the bag, I washed diapers every three days. The poopy diapers where it wasn't really like very solid type poop, I would just rinse them out in the sink, it would all dissolve, and I'd throw them in the wet bag or throw them in the washer with all the other diapers. We'll cut to a few months later, it's hot, poops are more solid, we live on a farm, flies are a thing, this is so gross, and it's embarrassing to admit, but so it was like when it was first starting to get warm, Nicholas. When it was first starting to get warm, <laughs> I went to open the cloth diapers uh, and a poopy one, and it was full of maggots. This is the grossest thing, maybe the grossest thing I have ever seen in my life, to be honest with you. Um, so, best tip here 
first of all, to lock your cat somewhere when you're trying to make videos. <laughs> and um, the next thing I advise is yes, hosing off your diapers every single day. And you don't have to do it necessarily like right when it happens, but at least doing it at that night. So how I typically do it is I just have a little plastic garbage pail, like a $1 pail from the dollar store next to the changing table. If it's a poopy diaper, I put it in the pail at the end of the day, I take anything that's poopy, hose them off, and then just throw it all in the wet bag. It's also much easier to get the poop off if you hose it off the same day. So um, I just want to spare you from ever having to have a diaper. It's just it's so many gross things in combination, right? It was just, it was awful. So just take my advice, hose off your poopy diapers every day, please. Okay. We also learned that even though I'd say we cloth diaper about 90% of the time, we do still have a place for disposables in our life. We use disposables for nighttime. Now there are moms out there who are amazing and they find just like the right combination of the diaper cover and the insert so that they don't have any leakage at night for us. My daughter's still up like twice in the evenings or twice, you know, during the night. And so if there's a night where she might sleep all the way through, the last thing I want is a leaky diaper to be the thing that wakes her up. So we use a disposable at night. That way I know most of the time, like 99% of the time, if she's waking up and fussing, it has nothing to do with her diaper. So I can just let her kind of fuss. I'm not worried that she's like wet or something. So we do use disposables for that. I also use disposables for long car rides or if I have to drive into town and I need to be doing errands for a couple of hours on end, I again have not found the right combination of different inserts to not have leaks. So, you know, this weekend we're going to go visit my husband's family and they're about three hours north of here. So she'll wear a disposable for the drive. It's just so much easier um, to not be worried that again, she's getting leaks and needing to have her clothes changed partway through the drive. It's just, I really recommend using disposables. But again, this is how I cloth diaper. It doesn't mean this is how you have to do it if you find something else that works better for you. Another thing in terms of preventing leaks is during nap time, we always put an extra insert in um, her diaper. So let's see, I just got a pile of stuff here, did not organize very well. Um, so here, this is um, a pre-fold that's very, very thin. You can even see like the light and me kind of through it. And so when she's wearing a diaper, I will just kind of fold this up and lay it in there, you know, right before, if it's her change, kind of before nap time. So that way we're definitely not gonna have any leaks. Or like, this is a really kind of nice, thin absorbent. This is from Grovia. I think we just got this from a friend actually too. Um, just a really nice organic cotton and just putting a little bit of extra in there really goes a long way to stopping leaks. Okay, let's get into different types of diapers and styles of diapers and what I was surprised to find ended up being my favorite type of diaper. So. Um, let's start with pocket diapers because that's pretty popular. So this is a Mama Koala brand. So I have both Mama Koala and Alva that I have used for pocket diapers. Some things that I like about them is I do like that they come in a lot of cute, fun patterns. You don't see them a lot, so it doesn't matter that much. Um, with the microfiber inserts, it seem to work pretty well. I have found that we get, if it's gonna be a leak, it's probably from one of these more often than not. And I find that it's typically kind of around the legs where it's gonna seep through a little. Um, I'm thinking probably just because, you know, if some pee doesn't quite hit, like I can feel right here the edge of, um, edge of the insert in there. And then this area is pretty thin. So I think if a lot of pee gets there that it's gonna leach out and get on their legs maybe. Well, these have been our leakiest ones. I like the fact that they are all kind of in, it's just one situation you put on, which is really simple. I haven't really minded having to um, stuff the diapers. It doesn't take that long really to put the inserts back in. They're like easier for grandma and stuff to use when she comes to visit because it's pretty simple to use your snaps. So these are still, I think, perfectly fine if you want to go this route. And I will say too, this is really soft. Um, I think it's supposed to be either a micro flannel, they said, or a micro, micro something. And it definitely is soft, but it also feels more synthetic than just like a traditional cotton or something like that. So and the same pretty much goes for Alva Baby there. Very, very similar diapers. Let's talk about uh, hybrid diapers. So hybrids like this, I have two Grovia hybrid diapers. They're the ones where your insert snaps in. It's got a couple different layers you can see of absorption there. I think that hybrids are overpriced and not worth it the price. Maybe this like really works for you, like you really like the style and that you just snap it out, but honestly for the price difference between how much it costs to get these inserts, like these Grovia inserts I think are like $16 a piece, maybe $18 for the organic ones if not a little bit more. 
for one insert. And if you can snap an insert in there, you can just as easily take a cover, take a flat or a pre-fold like this, excuse me, fold it in half and lay it in there. And it's gonna be a fraction of the cost. I think they're handy, they're nice, but I just, I don't think they're worth the extra expense for a hybrid. Some things that I really like about the Grovia diapers, they are clearly like a really, really good quality. They have a little bit of a stretch to them, which is nice. You can see here the interior is kind of this sort of breathable mesh, which I think is really nice and will be very comfortable on your skin. And so it's, it's really soft as well. What I don't like is the gussets on here. I don't know if you can see how kind of bulky those are. If you compare it to like a mama koala, maybe we can put them next to each other. You can really see that these are just bulkier gussets. And I find that these leave little marks on her legs more so. They seem to kind of dig a little bit, even if we put the diaper on like way too loose. Those are my complaints about the Grovia. And we do have two different styles of Grovia. So the other one that I have, pretty much the same, except for this one is a hook and loop. So hook and loop is a kind, basically just means Velcro. I hate hook and loop. <laughs> I only have the one and it was a gift, which is nice to someone who, someone had gotten them it as a gift and they didn't want a cloth diaper. Because just like any Velcro, like you can see maybe here, like barely any pressure, this is coming off. Because just like anything with Velcro, I don't know if you can see, it starts when you wash it, it picks up all the lint and little bits and it's really hard to clean it out. And then um, it doesn't stick very well. So this diaper will like come off or more often than not. And then two, it gets like kind of pilly across the top as well from the Velcro. So I am not a fan of hook and loop just based on my experience with this one. So again, if you've had really good luck with hook and loop or maybe there's something I'm missing about how to do hook and loop properly, you know, please comment below because anything to make this diaper function a little better because again, it is Grovia, which is a really good brand. It's solidly made. Same complaint with the gussets. Um, otherwise, yeah, hook and loop is just, nope, no thank you. Okay, last thing, my surprise favorite style diaper that I've had the most success with um, is just covers with inserts. I really, really like them because like I said, number one, we've had the least amount of leaks. Um, other thing is it's really easy to customize what goes in there. I mean, technically with these um, hybrid ones, if I snap out the insert, I can put whatever sort of insert I want in there. But again, you are paying more for that brand and for that style for the hybrid versus these ones where it's just kind of a plain cover. I can really easily customize with whatever sort of insert. This is an Econobump, I think an organic cotton insert that's pretty bulky, but so I can put that in there. I can put this Grovia thing in there. If I really want to put the insert with the snaps in there, I could stick it in there. So really you have a lot of flexibility with what you do with them. So that way, if you do know, okay, to, you know, to get through a nap, I'm going to put in a hemp insert with a cotton liner around it and that's you know so you can kind of macgyver your diapers however you want so I, I think that's really nice so my favorite is between two different types this one is the flip this yellow one that i've had which i've shown before it has like these kind of stretchy tabs which are really nice i feel like you can get a good fit with that it also has on the inside these little pocket type things here and here so when you're putting your insert in it holds it in place a little bit which is nice so that way you're not having it like the diaper shove up the front or the back if you have kind of like a longer or bulkier insert like this one a negative of that though however is if there's poop on this and you're trying to hose it out with your sprayer hose these make like perfect little poop hammocks that catch all the poop so and you can get it out but sometimes like I always try and make sure that I'm hosing it off so this thinner one here is, is the direction the poop is going because this one is a pretty big pocket and it also goes down into these corners. So then you're trying to like get the, so just, yeah. So that's one, like it serves a good purpose and I like it. And then it does have a negative in that it catches, catches poop. The other diaper that's just a cover that I really like, that is a Bum Genius brand, Flip is, and I'm pretty sure so is Econo Bum, which um, is possibly, if it weren't for like one thing, this would be my favorite diaper. So this is just a very basic, simple cloth diaper. I really like gussets on it aren't, like it's really good. It's got a lot of stretch to it, but it's not real bunchy. So it just, it works really well and fits very comfortably. It looks like it has a lot of give. So I'm very confident that I will be able to use this diaper until my daughter is potty trained for sure. Um, so the elastic is all just really soft and, and nice and has a good fit. And it, it's just, it just fits nice and it's simple and I just really like those aspects of it. The only negative thing I have to say about this diaper is that, so I'm going to unsnap it here. 
hopefully you can hear me over the shaking of this diaper. So here, this is the interior of the diaper. This is the back side of the snaps that are on the front. And so it has this like bit of cloth here that the snaps have gone through. So again, if you're gonna be hosing poop off this diaper, you need to have it this way because if you're hosing it this way, you're gonna hose poop down into these little crevices and you can't get in there to get the poop out because these buttons are holding it in place. So you can't, so just the other day, I wasn't paying attention, did that, and I could see there was like poop trapped in there, which is so gross. When you wash it, of course, thankfully, um, it all seems to come out just fine. So I think that that's pretty good. But the other thing I have noticed too, about this diaper is you do get a little bit of discoloring in here and that could just be because it's white it's right around the button so i don't know if it's some sort of a rust situation that's happening in there and it still works just fine but it just looks a little bit funky so you can get these in different colors they usually i think are just white though with kind of different colors like around the top Conabum and flip and diaper covers those are i think kind of my favorites so if i were to start from scratch and buy if i was buying all my diaper things i would probably get maybe like five Econo bum covers, maybe like five of the flip covers, and then probably 15 or so inserts of different thicknesses um, and kinds. So this is the one, when I bought this Econo bum, it was like a sample pack. I got it on eBay actually, I think for, I wanna say like $18, which is awesome. eBay is another good place to look for diapers. Typically don't buy used unless it has really, really good pictures and a really good seller rating because with used, you can have worn out elastics and then you have to replace elastic, which is just a pain and no one wants to do it unless you need to. This is what it comes with. It is huge. Um, you could of course fold it this way, but it gets to be, this is a real bulky thing to have in there. So it's nice to have not just big ones like this, but I mean, look at the, the thickness difference. Of the types of inserts and you know when you've got just a little tiny baby something like this is going to be fine and we just kind of started you know in the last couple months using these big bulkier ones for for our diapers Next thing to touch on is wipes so wipes can also be kind of expensive they really tend to add up so i got these cotton these are organic flannel cotton wipes i just got these on amazon i can link below um, which you can certainly make your own. I did that too. We had so many receiving blankets, like old ones that were given to us from in-laws and things. And so I just took a nice flannel receiving blanket and just cut it into little strips to use as wipes too. Um, of course, you've got some fraying, so you need to invest the time. But if you want, these are less than a dollar a piece and you'll have them forever. And they're super soft and nice. I've noticed a little bit of fraying on the edges here, but I mean, for the price, I think they were totally worth it. And then um, you just put these with a little solution and use them. So that's something else that I definitely would recommend. Just getting started with cloth diapering, please check out, I have another video I will link below to cloth diapering 101. I have an overview of all the different types, some of the diaper lingo, um, how you use these different aspects of diapers, whether it's inserts or covers or wet bags, sprayer hoses and all that good stuff. So please check that out. Uh, otherwise, if you have any questions at all for me, please comment below or any tips or tricks. I have been doing this for over a year now, but I know some moms are veterans of many, many babies. So I always appreciate more information, especially if you have that secret recipe for how you can cloth diaper successfully overnight or on kind of long road trips. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you would like and subscribe, it really helps my channel reach more people who are interested in the content that I'm creating. And please also check out the blog post. I linked to that below because I always finish these videos and realize, oh, I forgot to say this or mention this. So check the blog post for full details and always visit my channel here every single week. We have a new video about farming, family, food, and fortitude here at our rough and tumble farmhouse.